Do you think this is going to be the last week of the Steelers season? I think that is the biggest and most important question everyone is wondering. Man, I really hope not. Uh, as I'm in full draft mode already, but I, I'm ready to continue this thing, man. I, I want to play. I want to play for another week. I want to have another one of these podcasts where we get to preview a game. So I really hope not. I think uh, you got to be pretty grateful for how things have played out for the Steelers over the past couple of weeks. You know, um, everything that needed to go right for them has went right. And um, also, you know, what do they say? Like fortune favors the bold or whatever. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Steelers have taken care of their business too. So, you know, they, they've kind of put themselves into this situation to where they could potentially get lucky and uh, we'll, we'll see if it happens, but I'm, I'm optimistic. Uh, like I said, I, I just want one more week at least, even if that means, you know, uh, going into a playoff game where they're probably going to be, you know, huge underdogs and potentially get drummed. I, I still want to have a chance, you know, to get into the dance. Yeah, I do want to get into at some point whether or not they could actually compete in the playoffs because that's obviously a lingering question. But uh, let's dive into the playoff matchup here. The Steelers Browns, obviously, we will get into that. There are two other games that decide the fate of the Steelers playoff hopes. The Buffalo Bills at the New England Patriots and the New York Jets at the Miami Dolphins, which will be headlined not by Teddy Bridgewater. Not by Mike White, not by Zach Wilson, not by Tua Tagovailoa, by Joe Flacco and Skylar Thompson. Flacco will start for the Jets. Thompson will start for the Dolphins with Teddy Bridgewater out with a broken pinky. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I saw people on Twitter saying, I don't know if I'm excited about this or not. I, I mean, it's Joe Flacco. He's he's done the Steelers a lot of wrongs. Maybe this is a maybe this is a good. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know what to think, man. I asked this question on Twitter yesterday. I, I'm really not sure what to think about um, that Jets-Dolphins game. I mean, it has the potential to be just historically ugly. Um, I watched the Dolphins-Patriots game really in entirety last week leading up to the Steelers game. Um, the Dolphins, I don't know what they're going to do with – the Tua situation, you know, I hate I hate that his season has been so heavily impacted by the – concussion stuff um hopefully he gets well but i don't know what they're going to do with the backup quarterback situation like yeah. teddy teddy is definitely a spot starter caliber guy that you want in that role but teddy hasn't been healthy like he's he's played in like th uh, several games this season and he hasn't finished them yeah so then you're down to like skylar thompson who i believe was like a seventh round pick or something like that mm -hmm. um and i've watched him multiple times this season live um have not been very impressed. So I don't, that's the thing, like with the Dolphins, I don't know that I have a ton of faith in Flacco um, just because I remember watching a bunch of their tape before we, uh, the Steelers played them in week three or four or whatever that was. Was it too impressed? He was putting up a lot of garbage time numbers, but I will say like, I think I have more faith in Flacco than I do Skylar Thompson. If that's what it comes down to. I know Teddy's kind of like up in the air. It seems no, like. No, no. As of McDaniel's, as of today, it's Skylar Thompson. It's Thompson. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I definitely have more faith in uh, Flacco. The only thing is, too, um, the Jets defense, which has been, like, extremely good all season long, they didn't look good last week, um, no. in my opinion. They're, they were kind of um, having some issues on the defensive side of the ball that I haven't seen. So, that's worth noting, too. You know, Miami does have, regardless of who the trigger man is, you know, Miami has – probably, you know, a top two receiving core um, in the league or receiving duo with Waddle and Hill. So, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens, man. But like I said, um, you know, the Steelers have given them themselves a chance to get in and you just kind of got to pray that everything happens. But you got to take care of your own business first. And that's, that's yeah. kind of what I'm worried about. A hundred percent. You got to focus on Cleveland. That's the Steelers first hopes. I will say that I talked to, I think there was like two or three Steelers guys that I was talking to yesterday and they told me that their worry is Jets Dolphins because in in the words of one Steelers player, Buffalo is going to smack New England. And I was like, oh, all right, well, I ain't, yeah, we I don't think I don't think we got to worry about that. No, no, nobody's got to worry about. <laughs> we almost thing... lose to Skylar Thompson. That's why Skylar Thompson looks good is because you were watching the game on Sunday. I was listening to it as I was driving, and you were like, New England's about to lose to Skylar Thompson. Like this is that was your thought until Kyler Duggar took that pick six back for a touchdown your thoughts were they're gonna do this that's how bad new england is that's the thing is new england's offense is so dysfunctional 
yeah. um, that it has pretty much just torpedoed their chances this season to make any type of noise. The only thing I will say about uh, speaking of Kyle Duggar, um, I talk about Duggar a lot on Twitter, but Duggar's a baller. <laughs> like oh, yeah. that dude, that dude is a baller. I, I love watching that dude. Uh, he is a like film junkies dream. Um, so yeah. Uh, Ryan has a good question. Chances Bill said the starters of Kansas city wins on Saturday. Um, We'll see. I, I don't yeah. know. I think that actually I have to run the scenarios, but it, it seems like um, it seems like that's probably not going to happen. Uh, I, I've, I've listened to McDermott talk a little bit. Of course, a lot of their focus has been um, on DeMar Hamlin, which, you know, thoughts and prayers brought to him. It's awesome that we're getting some good news regarding his health. Um, so. But it seems like Buffalo is playing to win the game this weekend. So um, and I also will point out that. Buffalo is missing like five or six starters when they play the Steelers uh, early in the season. And <laughs> Buffalo's backups on defense are still really good. So yeah, Buffalo, thanks. Buffalo top to bottom is extremely good. Um, they have one of the deepest rosters, I, th- I think, in the league. So even if they do decide to sit some guys to pull some guys maybe later in the game, I still have enough faith that like New England's probably still not going to be able to move the ball against them. Yeah. And at the same time, like, you know, speaking of the Cincinnati situation, if you're the Bills, you're not trying to give your guys two weeks off, essentially, to say, okay, like, now we're going to head into the playoffs and have to play somebody after we just rested our starters for two weeks. So at bare minimum, I feel like they'll at least play a half, which is probably enough. Like, you give yourself a half and then put Case Keenum out there. I trust Case Keenum a little bit, you know? Yeah, I think think if we're doing like a – um let's just call it like a uh a dangerous index like oh yeah it's not not worried at all about the pats beating the bills um slightly worried that the browns could beat the steelers but not really and then uh you know i have no clue what's gonna happen in that jets dolphins game i mean that one's a complete toss-up to me i don't even know how you could uh, credit to you know I have some Jets Dolphins follows on Twitter. Credit to anybody trying to break that one down because uh, I got nothing for you. I got no, nothing you got... for you. It's gonna be a complete crap show. <laughs> hey, crap show somehow works in the Steelers, but that's all right because the last time Flacco played a good game against a bad team was the Browns. He threw for four touchdowns. So you know yeah. you just gotta keep a little bit of hope alive. Playoff chances are slim, but if the Steelers did make the playoffs, who would they rather play? Everybody in the Steelers locker room. The answer is Cincinnati. I think the more important question is, would it be Kansas City or Buffalo? Who would you rather play if it was Kansas City or Buffalo? Neither. (laughs) (laughs) I I think I I don't have an answer for this one. There's zero. Neither, man. I I really. I don't I don't want to I don't want to get people's hopes up, man. It's a zero. I I think the Steelers probably get smoked by either team, but um but my thing is, I don't, I don't care about none of that. I don't care about the result of it. Like, give yourself a chance. Let's play one more week of football before we got to get into the off season. I think, just from my perspective, and this is something that I noticed last year when I was doing, when we were really doing the pod, the off season's long, man. We get into those dog days long. like summer and like post draft, but pre, oh, dude, you're telling me training camp. I'm not gonna feel. sit there and be like, just scroll. Half my job is just to scroll the internet and be like, huh, nothing, huh? Still nothing. Spent yeah. 12 hours of nothing. Awesome. It's, it's awful. tough, man. So like, I, I just, I don't want to, I'm not ready for that yet. Even, yeah. even though I, I'm already admittedly in, you know, full draft mode. I just, I want to, I, I want to play play some more football and I want to have one more week to preview, even if it, you know, doesn't, doesn't end up going their way. And I also think like from the Steelers perspective, this could be huge experience. You got a lot of young guys. They got a really young offense guys that haven't been in the playoffs. Um, You know, you got a quarterback who's obviously never played in a game like that. So even getting that type of exposure, even if they get waxed, which would probably be what happens, it's still valuable. Yeah. You sent Kenny Pickett to, to Arrowhead or to Buffalo yes. in the first round of the playoffs next year Still when they're a better man. team, he's he's already been there. You know what I'm saying? That is humongous. Yeah, 